So they ask you about the Qarnayn, say, I will narrate to you, Sa'atlu alaykum minhu dhikra. I will recite to you something about him. Some things just to tell you that I know who this man is. Now, who is Dhul Qarnayn? Allah says, Inna makkanna lahu fil ardi wa atainahu min kulli shayin sababa. Indeed, we gave him power in this earth. Makkanna, we gave him power. He could have control, meaning he was a type of king. And we gave him a path wherever he wanted to go. Meaning he had an army, he was able to go to any land he wanted to go. Some scholars have said that Dhul Qarnayn was a prophet. But when you look at the story and you look at this ayah, it doesn't look like it because when Allah describes Khidr, Khadr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we gave him a knowledge from us. That is prophethood. When Allah describes Dhul Qarnayn, He says, we gave him power. And power is something Allah gives to righteous and unrighteous people. And if you look at the story, there's nothing that Dhul Qarnayn did that really stands out as being something a prophet only could do. And so the majority position is that Dhul Qarnayn was a righteous king. Dhul Qarnayn was a good man. As, as Ibn Abbas said, he was Rajulun Salih. He was a righteous man whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given power to a type of kingdom to. And the story uh, Dhul Qarnayn, the, the, Dhul Qarnayn is not his name, Dhul Qarnayn is his title. And Qarn means horn. So Dhul Qarnayn, the one of the two horns, the one of the two horns. Why is he called Dhul Qarnayn? Many are the stories given. Some have said he was the only person to rule over both Persia and Rome. So each of them is a Qarn, so they're Dhul Qarnayn. Right, this is one opinion. Uh, so he's a mighty king that maybe sometime he controlled both of these lands. Another have said that Dhul Qarnayn is called Dhul Qarnayn because he would have his hair tied up in two, uh, if you like, ponytails, if you like. And each one in, in the Arabs, they call uh, a tail of the hair, they call it a Qarn. So Dhul Qarnayn, he has these two ponytails. Maybe in some cultures, they had the men have this. So he's called Dhul Qarnayn. And others have given other stories as well that he controls the East and the West. And in reality, we do not know.